Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gauntlet. Now, when we left off, we had, well, I'd say, completed the first level with relative ease. However, we did have a couple of close calls, and we are now going to be experiencing the second level of the undead section, I suppose? Yes, because there are three very distinctive sections here, and... As you can see, we are going to be fighting a huge amount of undead units. So let us, without further ado, get through all of these pots of gold here. No leprechauns around, however, and no rainbows, that's for sure. But yes, hopefully we'll be able to see a couple more pots as we go along. Trained warriors protecting their leaves even in death. You have my respect, but you're... Okay, now, as you saw the Valkyrie saying there, we are going to be fighting much more difficult units rather than just mummies now. They actually have shields, and I do believe later down the line we will be fighting some guys that are equipped with some charge abilities. So that's going to be rather difficult to deal with. Ah, as you can see, we also have some archers. Ooh, ow, okay. I thought my shield was able to take these guys out, but no such luck. Goodness me. There we are. A nice spear attack will take that guy out, and then we can do... Whoa, okay. Very nice attack right there. They lined up just right for us. There we are. Take that as well. Okay. So, yeah, I think the one... Oh, we actually need to open this gate up by taking out these guys. Okay. Oh, the shield just about misses it. Of course, of course. Okay. But yes, as I was saying, I think the main thing about Gauntlet is that... You want to be exploring, you want to be attempting to find all of the secrets, you want to just be having a good old fun time by not destroying the chicken, that's for sure, but still, you want to just make sure that you survive the entire level without destroying the chicken, but mm, as time goes on it actually gets very unique in the way that it presents the levels, because I think you'll see once we get to the second section, or should we say the second area, you'll see what kind of unique mechanics they come up with. I gotta say, some really difficult to deal with ones as well, because one of them is a cavern system, and that cavern system involves a mechanic surrounding darkness, and you basically need to avoid being absolutely murdered in the darkness by huge amounts of spiders and various other kinds of enemy, but yeah, that kind of thing, definitely very difficult to deal with, especially when you can't see. And the spiders, they have the tendency to actually... What well, is it, poison? Yeah, I think they probably poison you. And what happens is, you are slowed. You're actually slowed by such a large amount that it becomes very difficult to even dodge or do anything of the similar action there. So, yeah, need to be very careful about those guys. There we are. No. Yes, that was very close indeed. Phew. Okay. Need to make sure that we don't take any damage as well. I'm getting back into the game. Ooh, that was a good shield hit. Unfortunately, it's going to take me a little bit of time to... Yeah, get around here. Now, the cool thing about these skeletons, as you can probably see, as soon as they attack me with my shield, because they are skeletons, they actually die immediately, whereas the mummies, they had a couple of issues with that. They decided, no, we're not going to die from one hit. We're just going to be annoying and stay alive. But, <laughs> yes, we do need to use our shield block a little bit more against these skeletons. They are very easy to take out in that case, as you see here. Just open this up, and I'm just going to stand here, and you'll see the power of my shield. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that debris. And there we have it. Very nice indeed. Okay, take that food as well. Good. Now, I think I have actually identified what kind of relic we are going to be purchasing as well, because before I came into the level, I had a look at the shop, and I thought to myself, hmm, what can we get? And it seemed as though the best one to go for as I try and avoid these guys and getting absolutely massacred, would be the loot. Now, the loot is generally for something that is more of a support character, but usually I do like to play support characters more often than not, so I think I'm probably going to have to see whether I can upgrade that after this, because it is, I believe, 12,000 gold. Yeah, 12,000 gold to be able to upgrade the loot. 
And I'm hopefully going to be able to do that. Ah, I was hoping I'd be able to block that, but no such luck. Okay, try and take out the spawner. Thank you very much. There we go. Take out the shaman. There we go. Good. So, now we can continue onward. Unfortunately, I already ate the chicken, or I destroyed it. By mistake. That's never a good sign. Um. Okay. Well, we don't need to worry about death, at least. I don't think he actually appears on this level, does he? Well, I'm talking about this general level here. I think he might be on the second floor. Hmm. I hope not. Because death does get a lot more difficult. Unfortunately, we now have to deal damage to a necromancer. So, as you can see. Yes, we're in for a treat. Uh. Okay, what are we going to do here? Now, as you can see. Yeah, he has a laser beam. I'm a fire in my laser. That's what he says, but... Yeah, we're going to see what we can do about this guy. Now, this guy is actually very easy to take out because you can abuse his mechanics. Well, not abuse, but you can actually win quite easily if you have the right set of skills. Whoa, that was close. Okay. <laughs> Let me not get too overconfident, shall we? That would be terrible. There we are. Take him out. And then we get a huge amount of gold as well. So let's use our shield against these guys. Excellent. There we go. And a lot of gold for us. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't believe there are many secrets in this particular floor, but hopefully on the next one we'll be able to find some. I am always attempting to find... Aha! Never mind. Okay. I think I may have seen something. If you guys have also seen it, then props to you. I have taught you well, apparently, from the first video, shall we say. <laughs> but yes, we have some explosive barrels here. And this is, of course, going to open up this wall here. There we are. Wonderful. And, ooh, our third potion. They are going to come in handy, that is for sure. So, let's pick up the gold, and I think I'll just take the turkeys, because I don't think I'll be coming back here. And I am at full HP anyway, so that's fine. Now, ooh, imagine if I had just turned off here and not actually gone into that room over there. Hmm, okay. Oh dear. Okay, I think this might actually be a time for my illusions. So I think I might be doing that. Okay, just keep on keeping on. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now, yes, illusion time. Because we have a potion over here. I'm going to be taking that. That will rejuvenate us back to full potions, and now hopefully my, yep, illusions will take out both of the spawners very easily indeed. And as you can see, they actually last for a huge amount of time as well, so you can imagine these illusions against a boss? Absolutely insane. Very, very cool indeed. There we are. And I'll take the food as well. Ooh, there's some turkeys over there. Did I miss that? Surely not. Huh. I may have missed that. That's not too good. Okay. Well, yeah. I suppose. Hmm. Yeah. Very strange. Maybe we'll get to it in a little bit. That would be quite nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we can do this. Yes. Come on, blow up. Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much. Take out the spawner. Yes. Okay, now there is another spawner. I am actually really tempted to use my potion right here. Blow up, blow up. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Good. Wait for the shield to come back. Hopefully we can use that. Ooh, only take out those? Wow, I was hoping that it would kill the shaman, but no such luck this time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is great. Exploding right next to the spawner as well. Yes. Okay, good. We are fine now, I do believe. Take out the shaman. Or, shall we say, corrupted mummies. Aha. For some reason, I always thought they were shamans for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. We do get some additional food, and I do believe we are close to the exit. After this gauntlet. Yes. No pun intended. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, take out that spawner. No problem at all. Thank goodness we don't have another key, otherwise I'd unleash a huge horde of mummies upon us.
Okay, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I'll wait for the shield. There we go. Excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, so where are... Oh, I was going to say, where are the keys that I need to get over here and down to the south as well? Because there are additional treasures to be had, but I do not believe I found the keys required. Mm, maybe we'll find a couple of keys ahead of us. That would be rather nice. Yes, there we go. One key for us. And... I do believe... Wait a minute. I need to be careful... Oh... Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, I need to be careful here, because you never know when you might see another key. And there is one down there. I should have opened that one down in the south before opening the one in the north. Ah! Well, mistakes have been made. And we will just have to lie in our bed here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Aha, they give you a second chance. That's very nice of them, I have to admit. Very nice indeed. So, yeah, as you can plainly see, we are now going to be picking up this key over here, going to the south, picking up the other key inside that area, and also getting a bunch more treasure in the process. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. So, I think I'm actually going to be using... Mm, should I use my illusions? I don't know whether it's worth it, to be honest. Okay, there's the crown. I need that. Thank you very much. Okay, come on. Step away from the turkey. Okay, great. Okay, that was excellent. That actually worked out much better than I assumed it would. And we still have four potions. We do need to make good use of those, though. I actually think we need to make good use of them right now, so... Let us open this up, and we'll get by this trap in just a second. Okay, there we go. Good. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is the end. Yep, this is the end of the level, or should we say, end of the floor. And let's do as much damage as we can. I'm going to be using a potion here because it is the end of the floor. And I don't believe you retain your potions through the levels. So, yeah. We'll need to use these a little bit just to make sure that we do this. Without too much trouble. Ah, the archer managed to survive. Interesting. There we are. That's much better. Okay, so as you can see, we have these idols here and we can pick these up and put them in the little slots here and of course then more things will spawn okay wait a second take that guy out there we go okay excellent now if you were playing this with multiple people then everyone would be able to pick up each and every idol so you could effectively put three in at once so you wouldn't have to deal with all of these spawners which would actually be really cool but yes as I am solo I do have to deal with all of the spawners but I suppose that does give me does it give me more score I don't really care about score that much but yeah I suppose so it gives you more experience I guess as well because although you don't really get a form of experience, you do get the ability to level up your skills and to use more abilities and all that kind of thing. It does use a rather strange level up system, I have to admit. It's like a perk system, so that's not too bad. And we cleared the floor, very nice indeed. And yes, as you can see, we actually killed a lot of skeletons. 2,000 skeletons, in fact. And we've dropped the crown a lot of times. We've killed almost 8,000 mummies. Wow. Okay, who would have thought it? And we've almost killed 10 liches as well. So as you can see, they are the things that I am referring to when I say perks. They do give you a slight bonus in terms of damage. Oh, it is death. Okay. Well, we do retain our potions as well. So that's good to know for future. Okay, take out this guy. There we go. Pick up the key, and there is death once again. Ah, he's just disappeared. Excellent. Okay, now we have a lot of hardy enemies in here. I have a feeling that he's going to spawn behind me, probably. Is he? Yeah, he's spawning over there. Okay, that's fine. 
No, no. He's moving a little bit faster. Is that just my imagination, or is he actually moving faster? He might be. Well, whatever the case, I'm greedy, so I'm going to be taking as much loot as I can. Ow. How dare you. Yes, one of the ghosts hit me there. Okay. Ah, here is the crown that we need to protect. This is going to be rather tricky. Okay, well, I missed a little bit of gold over here, so I may as well take it. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So now we can kill those guys, take the crown, and we can run for it. Okay, good, good. I'll take the turkey, even though I've only been damaged a little bit. Just in case. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I thought I was going to be trapped there for a second. Now, the one thing that I am so incredibly happy about is that there aren't any spawners on the death levels, but... Yeah, I suppose the other thing that you need to be wary of is, of course, death himself. Oh, that was actually a very good shield toss right there. Ow. No! Ah, oh, the crown! It's all the way over there, I can't pick it up. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay. Well, what can I say? That was my bad entirely. Okay, good. We dealt with all of the enemies, and now we can take up all of the treasure that we require. And then we can head onwards. And we're actually quite far ahead of death. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I thought our timing was actually pretty good, but... Yes, he obviously put paid to that, did he not? Yes, he did. Oh, there's another crown! Oh, no, no, never mind. That was just a key. Ah. Uh, no such luck, then. Okay, kill those. You fight with unparalleled skill and discipline, Valkyrie. Okay, good. So we've taken out all of the monstrous mummies, and now all we need to deal with is avoiding death. And I would like to be able to transform an enemy just ahead of us into a turkey if we do not find any more food for us to rejuvenate, because we are about to die. Although we have four lives, which is very good. I think it might be an idea. Oh, this is not good. I might be trapped. Maybe. Maybe? No. Uh, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Okay, there we go, there we go. Good. Ah, oh, that was a slight miss, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, another key. Hmm. Yes, we need to find a solitary area so that I can use my turkey. Yeah, that sounds like a very strange sentence that I thought I'd never say, of course. But yes, so I can find the random turkey very... Oh my goodness. That was actually damaging, very damaging. These ghosts can actually kill me right now. Yes, I wish you had as well. How dare you. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. No. Oh. Yeah, okay, we found some food, that's good. Oh my goodness, that was close. Okay. Oh, and they shot my potion. Really? They actually shot the potion? Ah, how dare you. Okay. Come on, take them down, take them down. Don't get killed, don't get killed by the ghosts. They do the least amount of damage. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much. We are now back up in our HP value there. Phew. Okay, that was close. That was a very close, although we do have a lot of lives, so I don't think we really need to worry about it too much, but still. Oh, missed that. Okay, good. Very nice. No. 
Okay. Yeah. Need to be very wary of the fact that they can actually... Whoa, yeah. Can actually corner you pretty easily if you happen to miss a particular attack. As you don't have any support when you're solo, so you need to be careful about that. Okay, there we are. Yeah. Took out the big skeletons there. No! Again! The crown has gone off into a place which I cannot follow. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Never mind. It's just another key. I thought that was actually going to be a crown for a second there. I think I might? No, no. I should resist the temptation to use my potions because those illusions are so incredibly powerful that I really just want to use them as much as I can, but I know that I cannot. I must save them for more important endeavors. Ah, okay. Okay, ring around the rosy. <laughs> ah, there we are. And now we have four keys. There can't be four gates. No, there is one extra. So, what can we open? There must be something up ahead, or maybe not. No, nope, it just appears that there's a lot of gold and death is after us. So let's see if we can actually pick up all the gold and then leave before he actually catches up. Nope, okay. Gonna have to go around. There we are. Thank you very much. Great. We've earned... Wow, we've actually gotten 20,000 gold right now. I did have 12 or 11.5 or something, so that was perfectly fine. This challenge won't be as easy as the first one. I'd like to see you get out of this one alive. This could come in handy. All right. Okay. We're fine. We're good. I just need to take out these guys. Yeah. How can he block when he's spinning? Ah, oh, overpowered. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I did destroy the food, but I don't think I will be needing it in this particular challenge, or at least I hope not. No, no, no. Yeah. Got my shield up just in time right there. There we are. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I don't know whether I want to jump over there, so I'm going to take out the archer first. And then we'll see what we can do. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, let's use a potion here. I think that will be useful. Take out the spawner immediately. Jump back. Let our illusions clear out all of that. And then we can deal with the... Whoa! Huge amounts of enemies down here. Okay, come on, guys. Attack me. Yes. Okay, now let's do a nice shield. Whoa! Lovely shield toss right there. Wow, that was some excellent damage, if I do say so myself. There we are, and I think another potion will be in order here. Why not? We have another one to pick up. There we have it. Well fought. And there we go. That is it. That is the end of level two. And, yeah, I might say that we did a little better than last time, mainly because I had a little practice, I suppose, in the first video. So that's very nice, isn't it? I like that. So let us jump on over. And we'll be making our way down the stairs and picking up our rightful treasure right here. Thank you very much. And there it is. Floor cleared. Very nice indeed. So yes, there it is. Completion time. 23 minutes. Not too bad. I am not speedrunning it, of course, but yeah. Not bad at all. If we're killing all the enemies, that is. And now, we can actually go to the shop and upgrade our relic. So let's do that. There it is, the Siren's Loot. Heals all heroes for a small amount every two seconds. I personally think that is incredible. So let us upgrade it. There we are. Now, we need 24,000 to be able to increase the duration on that, and we're going to be equipping this instead of the random turkey transformation item. I personally think it's really good, but only if you have control over the area that you're in at the time, because usually when I'm playing solo, obviously there is basically no control whatsoever. I'm just flying on the seat of my pants right there, but, you know, uh, yeah. 
that sort of thing definitely happens quite a lot. But nevertheless, we will be participating... Well, should I do the boss in the next episode? Let me know in the comments. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.